Welcome Leafs Nation. I'm Mike Wilson, the Ultimate Leafs fan, but another tale from the past. This one involving the Bill Barocco 1951 Stanley Cup winning goal, the puck. Now, whatever happened to the puck, there's all kinds of variations of the story that are out there. The Hockey Hall of Fame claims they have the puck, but upon inspection, and uh, it, it, it's been determined that the puck they're using or that they have wasn't used in the National Hockey League at that time. It was another puck, so they had the actual wrong puck with the wrong labeling on it. Now, there's a family in Hamilton by the name of the Donahues, and they claim that they have the puck. And as the story goes, and once again, my friend historian Paul Pascal has film footage verifying their story. Now, Harry Donahue went to the game. His dad was with him, and when the puck Game was over and the puck was sitting in the net. He saw it, said to his dad, Dad, that puck is still sitting in the net. Nobody's grabbed it. Can I go and get it? His dad said, sure, go ahead. So he ran down to the boards. There was no glass at the time. Security is pretty lax, as you can tell. He said to the security guard, can I go and get the puck? And the guy said, sure, go get it. So he ran over. And you can see in the film, there's a body going across where the players are all celebrating to go and get the puck. And he comes back. He went back to his seat. And on the way up to his seat, somebody offered him $20, which was a heck of a lot of money at that time for the puck. But other than that, they took it home. His dad found a local craftsman who made a holder for it, and it sat on her mantle ever since. The kids even used the puck in the basement playing hockey. So they didn't think anything of it until the 65th anniversary came up, and there were some stories out there. And then they stepped forward, and they contacted me, and we hosted an evening where all the principals involved showed up that evening. But the, the interesting thing about it is that there was a couple of pucks. The Hockey Hall of Fame claims that they got the puck from somebody. The referee picked a puck out of the net and handed it to a guy in a wheelchair who then donated it to the hall. But what happened was when the puck went in the net, another puck was thrown on the ice. And there's film footage actually showing that. So the referee picked that puck up and handed it to the guy in the wheelchair, and that was the puck. And so it was very clear nobody went to the net to get it until the kid went in the net and got the puck. So it's just one of those tales that lives forever. It's out there, but we do have the real story, I think, from the Donahue family, and it's a fascinating one.